<laughs> this is a really interesting game because you race around different rooms in the house. I'm on, a, we're on the billiard, billiard table at the moment. I'm, I'm a really um, erratic genius, and occasionally I get these brilliant bursts of speed. I'm just so super cool. I'll take this game with no problems. It holds no horrors for me at all. You know, I'm just in there. Here we are playing a different game of drafts from the normal. I've just won um, a bonus point. I got at least one screen away from my opponent. Ah, pure, pure that level. On this level, we're in tanks and we're firing at each other by pressing both buttons together. You can use tactics on this, but you can only use it once before your player works out. Ha, I got you. Oh, very sly. You'll not get away, though. Perfect ah. shot coming up. Ah, got you. Nah, that's cheating, that was. I'd say this was quite an average game. And one of the big problems for me is that the, the earlier levels are far too hard. The thing that bugs me about it is it gets very samey after a very short time. It's not recommended. It's an unusual game. It's quite good, but I wouldn't want to play it over and over again because it's pretty boring. Micro Machines is a good idea, but it gets boring very quickly. The two-player mode gives it a bit of life. And the scores for Micro Machines, the boys gave it an average score, 3 out of 5, and the girls also gave it 3 out of 5.